Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and this is episode four of my All About Microsoft Office 2013 web series. Now, I'm tackling today Outlook 2013 because Outlook is a very, very popular application and is mostly used in a lot of companies. So, Microsoft 2013 looks different from previous versions, so I created this guide or this video tutorial to help you minimize the learning curve. So, let's get started. Now, the first thing that I always stress out on all my videos, guys, is make yourself familiar with the interface. Start playing around. Start clicking around the ribbon. Start clicking around the tabs. That's the only way that you can actually start learning this stuff. Even though I'm showing you a couple of things, but hey, it's always best that you try out and play around with it first. Okay? Now, customize Outlook. Okay? A lot of you normally do this. Customize Outlook. Choose different schemes, color schemes. Uh, different backgrounds and synchronize them with your other computers. Okay. Uh, your backstage view, like always, is your view. If you click on the view tab to open the backstage view, where you add accounts and change settings. So let's click on File. And this is basically this is all the, all the goody stuff behind the scenes. You know, it allows you to add accounts and social networks. You can actually add or connect the social network which is pretty cool um, you can clean up tools is mailbox cleanup which is awesome you got the rules and alerts here as well this stuff used to be in tools and options back back like I think Outlook 2013 but they actually changed all that stuff okay uh, you still have your your search you know uh, you can search folders, subfolders, and even other mailboxes that you have inside your panel right here. Okay. Uh, within right here in the middle, where I am drawing this ugly box, this is where you manage your messages, uh, tasks. Uh, you could uh, catalyze, flag, delete messages right from there, live in the message list. So everyone is very familiar with this stuff for right here, okay? Uh, a couple of things that is new is your favorites. Now, as you can see, I don't really have any favorites as of yet, so this stuff hasn't been populated yet. This is a new feature uh, within Office 2013. Again, it's built mostly for social networking. This entire bar right here is considered your, your to-do bar. Uh, so your to-do bar basically displays the date, uh, your appointments, uh, people in your task list, which as I pointed that out already. Again, I don't have anyone there. I got the task down here and I got my calendar. That's basically the same. Uh, you have your people pan right here. This is actually introduced on Office 2007 and it allows you to see detail about everyone in the to, from, or CC lines of each message. Okay. Now, if you have someone in your contact with a picture and an email, you most likely you will see them right here. Uh, this is a YouTube email, so most likely I don't have anyone associated in my contacts for that particular uh, email address so that's why a picture is not there okay uh, a cool new feature that I kinda like is called the peak now the peak sees it allows you to see a quick view of the calendar people and tasks even see incoming appointments which is pretty cool so let's demonstrate so I'm gonna take my mouse and point right to the calendar and what do you see Ooh, it pops up rather than me clicking on it and going into the calendar portion, if I highlight it, it's going to give me a nice little quick peek. This is pretty cool because this feature was actually taken from the Windows 7 side. Remember the Windows 7, you can actually highlight and you know get a nice little quick peek. That's pretty cool. So the same thing with people, same thing as tasks. And I got a lot of tasks, as you can see. Uh, now, you got your reading pane. Now, this right here is very popular. Uh, this normally is set as bottom. I like the bottom portion. A lot of people like the, the viewing pane to be on your right hand side. Uh, but this is where you you know you highlight a message and at the bottom you're able to view. Uh, I'm gonna go off a little topic again. This is a quick start guys, so this stuff I'm actually gonna show you guys later on. 
but you go here in the layouts and you're able to turn it off right you know the right is by default this is how you're gonna see it I normally like to see it this way so it's up to you and the first thing first things first with Outlook when you first open it up now if you're using Outlook for home the first thing that you need to do is add an account if you're using it for work purposes most likely the IT people have it set up in a way to talk to a server your email server to get you know your emails so the people that are working from work you don't really need to worry as much IT people need to worry because again uh, they need to get that stuff up and running for you to continue working and get your information email is very important nowadays no but before you can send and receive messages you have to connect your email account if your company uses Microsoft Exchange which is very popular nowadays in enterprises Outlook 2013 will attempt to set up your email account for you so that's a plus that means IT people don't really need to do much because Outlook 2013 is built built smart to actually go inside the network and try to find the Exchange server which is pretty cool and configure itself so that's pretty awesome if you use the internet based email such as Hotmail, Gmail or Yahoo you basically enter your name enter your address and password and set your account up that's basically what I did I started out look up it was like oh you need to add an account I entered my my BJ Tech news at gmail.com put my password and uh, no the password is not password so do not try to use that and you can do it that way now if you wanted to add additional email accounts you can always go to file add an account and a nice little dialog box will pop up to enter that information okay now you can actually change the office theme office 13 uh, office 2013 was redesigned to provide a clean and uncluttered experience like a blank piece of paper if you want to see the different air areas of outlook more distinctly you can change the office theme now to do that you can actually go to file office account and within office account you should see office background and office theme these are two nice little new features that they had an office account they got these two new features which is pretty cool and you can actually play around with it and change the way everything looks I'm not gonna change it because I like circuits uh, office themes I don't really like the white so I'm gonna give it a dark gray uh, the dark gray is looking nice for me so let me go back on office 2007 they used to have a light blue uh, gray and black I used to love the black theme because it used to stand out which is pretty cool when you're using any application and previous episodes I basically told you guys things that you might be looking for it's always a good thing to look out for things and believe it or not I do have a sheet for office 2013 so let's go over real quick uh, now I broke it down into three columns you got the two you got to click and and then what to look in now if you want to apply stationary or backgrounds to a message again that's in the file and this is where you would normally go file options mail stationary and fonts on personal stationary tab and theme now if you want to send automatic replies when you're out of the office which is very popular that a lot of people like to use when they're on vacation to let other people that email them that they're not in the office and they're going to be back that's also located in the file and then this is where you will locate it it kinda you know Microsoft actually rearranged things a little bit I don't know if it was for the good or for the bad now to insert a picture or a clip art uh, insert as always you want to manage email messages by assigning rules you go to home uh, insert a symbol or a special character inserts add holidays to the calendar that's in the file section and share a calendar that is in the home now I haven't really tested out Outlook 2013 in a enterprise environment I'm still trying to find someone or a guinea pig in my job to actually <laughs> test this stuff out to see how it actually works inside a enterprise environment uh, again I'm using this as a internet personal email kind of client thing and so far so good so now mail is in the half of it Communication is very important, but your time is important too. Outlook 2013 has updated how you manage your time, your people, and your tasks. So I'm going to go into the calendar and show you what do I mean. Okay, let me bring my little my little tool. And 
as you can see right here you got a couple of new features in the ribbon and the first thing that I see is this little guy new link man meeting <laughs> and um, meet face to face to save yourself a trip by meeting online with links 2013 now Links is basically a office communications uh, application that your IT people need to set it up and it allows you to do a video to video uh, conference thing so you can actually set up a video conference within your Outlook 2013 and then when the day is up you click on a link and bam but for this to work you actually have to have the server running in the, in the behind the scenes and also you have to have the client installed on your uh, actual workstation your machine okay another thing that I noticed with our, our Outlook 2013 is this little feature they gave you a plan the weather feature so you can actually glance at the forecast for your city and up to four others you can plan an out of town meeting you know what to pack so that's pretty cool you know uh, you always have the basic right here this is always there that's I don't think that's ever leaving and you can also view other people's calendars in this little feature right here uh, as you can see nothing has much a lot hasn't changed in this portion right here other than you, you could change the views you could change the views right here but one thing that I kind of found interesting is the calendar also has the built-in peak feature so if I take my mouse and point over to one of my events which is the web series of Outlook 2013 today uh, I get a nice little quick preview of it which is pretty cool now this feature again is kinda taken from Windows 7 but but it's also taken from Google now Google you have to click on the event to get the nice little preview Microsoft you know stepped up the game and rather than clicking on it you could just basically put your mouse and the peak will automatically come up so that's pretty cool two thumbs up Microsoft now this is one of the things that a lot of people normally ask me is create an email signature how to create an email signature so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with Outlook 2013 so we're gonna to go to file options and once the option comes up you want to go to mail and under mail you want to go into the compose message area so you want to go right here guys once you go there you want to go into the signature portion so we're gonna click on that right now and right here it's very self-explanatory uh, it's just like 2013 2007 it's not much that you can do within this uh, little box you know you could uh, you know change the font change the color add an image do whatever you want to do is up to you uh, but it's basically the same okay I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna cancel that so automatically adding a signature to your message so you can basically go into the file option mail signatures which I showed you guys and then you could just choose a default so I'm gonna show you guys because this is another question a lot of people like you know what why my signature is not popping up now once you create your signature you know you create your signature here uh, and then you save it which you're gonna have a list of all your signatures right here you gotta make sure that you change it right here so what do I mean so I'm gonna go to new and I'm gonna write DJ Tech News okay and then that that allows me to type whatever I want right and then uh, save it a lot of people once they save they go away and they be like yo when I reply or forward there's no new messages now right here in the top it kind of got smart because look like you see that automatically it automatically filled up but the problem is your replies and forwards are always none because a lot of people don't like to have their signature but if you want you can do that press ok press ok and let's go to file. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to home. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go to mail. And within mail, let's create a new email and see how the new email looks. There it goes. So, you got signature. By default, you have your signature already 
there because that's what I set up in the file options but if you have other signatures you know if, if you're like a, a multi workaholic kind of person working different jobs um, most likely you have different signatures or different departments or whatever you want to call yourself most likely you have a bunch of lists you just you could choose from here which signature you want to push out when you send an email to someone okay uh, that's about it guys this is a quick 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 uh, look or start guide to get you guys up and running with Outlook 2013 uh, on the next episode I'm gonna try to get into Accenture training and new features within all the applications of Office 2013 no more to start uh, study guys I'm gonna show you guys how to use use certain of the um, applications uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this web episode please catch up Please catch my other episodes, which are always uh, posted up every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, please like, please share, please Twitter it, please Facebook it. Do whatever you need to do to bring this free IT training to everyone and let them know how to use Office 2013 because it's already out. And some of the training stuff is uh, going to be coming out in a month or so. So again, I'm trying to get you guys up to your game and uh, do what you need to do. So I'll catch you guys later and peace out.